decluttering, focusing, minimizing. Three of the things I have been attempting to put into practice for the last few years. Well, this year I increased my efforts and in a particularly intense purge, that's difficult to say, I discovered something. Two things. One, I have a lot of stuff. Various paraphernalia I've accumulated over the years. Some sentimental things. Gifts I've received from people. Cards. Notes. Wrapping paper. Things I should have thrown away a long time ago, but I didn't. I just feel so guilty. Still, I have found that I am only a level one hoarder which does not sound like much of an accomplishment once I say it out loud. It sounds more like more of an accomplishment to say I'm a higher level. But I suppose in the case of hoarding, you want to be a lower level. What was I saying? The point is I have a difficult time getting rid of things, which leads me to the second thing I learned. My clothing style has not changed in ages. Ages. I discovered this by going through my closet, looking through all my clothes, and also going through my idea book, which is basically my tangible Pinterest board. It's just a binder filled with magazine clippings, pictures from websites, and sketches I did planning out things to make. I started that binder over 10 years ago and every picture, every sketch was the same style. Nothing had changed in over 10 years. There's nothing necessarily wrong with having the same style for a long time, as long as you like it. I realized I don't even like it, but I'm making clothes that are in this style. I've attempted to change it. I've even made a few items of clothing that I really, really like. I really enjoy wearing, but I've only made a few, and so those are the items I wear, and so they are becoming rather threadbare, while the other clothes are just hanging in my closet, never being worn. I made them, but I wasn't wearing them, which was pretty sad. I kept making items I wasn't even wearing because I liked them to look at, but not to wear. I still appreciate that style, but I don't feel comfortable in it anymore. And even though I know what I want to wear and what I feel comfortable wearing, somehow it's been really hard for me to break out of making the clothes in the style I used to like. It's very strange. I realized that I was stuck. I didn't want to keep spending my time making clothing items that I was never going to wear. I wanted to rather spend my time making things that I would wear. The attempts I had made before hadn't gotten me out of this pattern. So I realized in order to get myself unstuck, I was going to have to do something rather extreme. So I burned it all. Really, literally, I set it all on fire. Well, not all of it, just the magazine clippings and the sketches, uh, all the paper stuff I burned. The clothing, I donated, don't worry. So here we are at the end of a long, boring story of how I decided that rather extreme measures were necessary in order to unstick myself. And now I have no clothes. Well, not no clothes, just not very many clothes. The plan is to build a new wardrobe of clothing that I will actually wear. And I might even film myself making them. We'll see.